Well, hello, fellow fishing fanatics. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. Either way, whether you're a longtime supporter or a first time viewer, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you'll subscribe because I'm just a small channel, just getting off the ground. Either way, I hope you're having an amazing day and that this video makes your day even better. I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna be talking about a knot that I actually sort of invented and it's been really exciting to fish with it and try it out and it's proved really amazing. It's super strong, really, really easy to tie. I'm gonna be teaching you how in this video, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So the knot I'm going to be talking about is called the Improved Crawford Knot. And believe it or not, it's actually an improved version of the Crawford Knot. I first learned about the Crawford Knot in an old book entitled Nightcrawler Secrets, or Lunkers Love Nightcrawlers, I think. And that book came out in like the 60s or 70s and was revised several times. And I took a look at this Crawford Knot that they listed in there and I was thinking, hmm, that knot doesn't look too strong, but it sure is easy. So I tinkered around with it and I sort of revamped it in my own way and then I took it out on the water and I tested it out and for the past almost three years I've been using it extensively and it really hasn't failed me more than a few times and let me tell you I've reeled in some big fish on this knot case in point I caught a nice mid-30s class musky on eight pound test line using this knot so it's an amazing knot and I really think you'll like it the thing about it is you can tie it in like 30 seconds flat and what I love about that is that means you can change your lures more easily and when you can change your lures more easily, you're more likely to change them out and make a good choice for the situation rather than being reluctant to change because you don't want to take the time. It's also extremely easy to tie. You can do it with cold fingers and it's so, 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 so strong. So I think you'll really like this knot and I think you'll really find it helpful to know this knot. So let's learn how to tie it. So to tie this knot, it's very simple. You're just going to take your line I'm using Berkeley Fire Line and a circle hook because it's easy to see, but you can really use any line and any hook. You're going to pass your line just right through the eye. doesn't really matter. Then you're going to go back through and do a loop-to-loop -loop and pass it through again, like so. You're not going to do like with a Palomar knot and pass through and then just turn around and go back through the other way so that it just slips out. Not like that. You're actually doing a loop-to-loop. -loop going out like that. With that completed, you're going to take your tag end, this guy, pass it behind your main line like that. And I like to pinch it back there to keep it from unraveling. So you're pinching it just like that. Then you're going to take this tag end and come in front of your loop like that. Then you're going to grab the tag end and wrap it behind the loop, like that. And in front of the loop again, like that. Behind the loop again, like that. And then, see that little opening right there? Adjacent to your main line? You're gonna take that tag end, pass it back through that little opening right there. Now you're gonna draw the tag end, like so and then pull on the main line. That knot, it's not coming undone. Urgh. Urgh. Not coming undone. Let me do that again real quick to show you just how speedy this knot is. So I'm just gonna pass it through, pass it through again. Pass behind. Go around this loop you created, going around, going around again, and then up through this aperture right there. Tighten, tighten. So simple, not coming undone. One more time at light speed, show you just how fast you can tie this knot. All right, this is not sped up, just pass it through, pass it through again. Put your line, your tag end behind the main line, wrap it around in front, behind in front, behind, and go to that little opening, pass it through, 
Titan. There you go. So strong. Her not coming undone. It's a great knot. Well, thanks for watching this video. I really hope that knot helps out. It's really helped me a lot. I've caught some giant fish and put a lot of pressure on this knot. Rarely does this knot break. Usually the line breaks before the knot does. I mean, it's really strong. When I tested this knot with eight pound test line and a scale, the scale was testing at eight pounds before the line broke and the knot isn't what broke. As you can see, it's super fast. It really works with any kind of line. So I really think you'll find it very helpful to know this knot. Please comment below. It would really make my day. And please let me know if there's anything I can do to make this video better. And until next time, you can't catch them from the couch. So when you next go out fishing, try the improved Crawford knot. I really think you'll enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching.